Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, for uh, Christmas, do you guys uh, ask each other, you know, your significant other, what do you want for Christmas? Well, me and my wife do. And every year we tell each other what we want or we just say, yeah, figure it out yourself. That's what we normally do. But for about three or four years, I kept telling my wife, hey, I want a fishing magnet and a metal detector. Because I watch all these videos on YouTube of these people going out and using these things and finding cool things, you know. And I wanted to try it, you know. Hey, maybe I could find something worth a bunch of money, you know. I know I probably won't, but it's worth a shot. And for years, I kept asking her. And every year, I never got one. Then about three years ago, guess what? I got a pacemaker. And the doctor said, hey, Steve, I got to tell you two things. I said, what's that, doc? He goes, since you got your pacemaker, you got two things to be careful of. I said, what's that? He goes, one, stay away from welders. And two, stay away from strong magnets. I said, really? He goes, yeah, because both of them will screw up that pacemaker and it's not going to be good for you. I said, all right, doc, thanks for letting me know. And guess what, guys? That year for Christmas, I got my fishing magnet and my metal detector. So I asked the wife, I said, hey, honey, how come this year, out of all years, I got what I wanted for Christmas? She goes, because you've wanted it for so long, I figure this is the year you, you get it. I said, yeah, but you know dang well I'm not supposed to be around magnets. She goes, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I said, how the hell am I supposed to be fine? I'm not supposed to be around them big magnets. She goes, I'll be with you. And if anything goes wrong, I got it covered. Because she thinks she got things covered. She's a, she's a thinker. She thinks ahead. She got things planned out. And, you know, she really is. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm going, she's up to something. Because, you know, I've trained her too well, I guess, to think ahead to prepare and I know me and since she's here for my entertainment I know she's setting me up for something but I don't know quite what it is I said so how am I here for her entertainment what she got planned okay okay honey so how am I gonna be just fine she goes well I'll be with you and if something does happen to happen to your pacemaker and you happen to have an episode or whatever you want to call it and you say you fall in the water I can run over grab that fishing magnet throw it in the water and I can eventually hook onto that pacemaker and pull you to shore and you'll be fine really and what if you can't find me well that's where the metal detector comes in We'll eventually locate you. That's my wife. I'm here for her entertainment. So, don't feel sorry for her when you hear about the things that I've done to her in the past or things I might be planning for her in the future. So, for the next story I'm about to tell you, I want you to meet somebody that kind of was a co-conspirator in this. And I... It really was his plan, not really mine, so I can't take full credit for this one. So the following Christmas, um, my stepson decided he wanted to become a ventriloquist. So he wanted this special ventriloquist dummy by the name of Slappy. And I didn't know who the hell Slappy was. So if any of you parents out there know who he is, I want you to you know who Slappy is from Goosebumps. For those who don't know who Slappy is, here's Slappy. Now this guy's a special kind of creepy, wouldn't you say? We like creepy around here. We like spooky around here. Now, picture if you will. A person, we'll call her my wife, coming home from work, going to make supper, and walking to the refrigerator open the refrigerator and seeing Mr. Slappy upside down like this by the gallon of milk 
And that door, slamming shut, and all the jars and everything go flying everywhere. And the words that come out of this woman's mouth, she's only five foot one and three quarters at the most. But man, she talks like she's six foot seven. Whoa! And man, I was trapped that day in the corner by the table. I couldn't run outside like last time I told you guys about. Man, was she P.O. <laughs> but it was worth it. She's here for my entertainment. I'm telling you, it was payback, though. So I was justified in this one. But Mr. Slappy has to take all the credit for this one. Because she was here for his entertainment. I was just kind of a co-conspirator on this one. So anyway, remember, friends, family, co-workers, they're all here for your entertainment. Take advantage of them. Until next time, people, much love to you. Talk to you later. Bye.